up with uh, your thoughts about the game? Well, it was a great game. I thought everything went well. Probably halfway through the third quarter, it started slipping on us a little bit. Kids played extremely hard. Uh, we're a young group that's very uh, talented, and I uh, expect to see us develop into a special team. What do you think changed from the third quarter on? I mean, you know, you guys tied the game, had a chance to go ahead. They really seem to take control of anything you could see, or? Well, they, they established a, a bit of a ground game just right there in the, near the end of the third quarter there, maybe, maybe about halfway through. And uh, they, they hit us on a couple uh, big plays here, and then they slipped in a couple passes. But uh, I think the ground game took a little more momentum away from us. Right there, where you wanted to be, I guess you know, midway in the third quarter, it was anybody's game. Yeah, we were there. We were there. Uh, we lost a couple kids, you know, and 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 you know, we're not excused people, but uh, we did lose a couple guards, and uh, you know that that didn't help us. But uh, the kids that went in, I thought they gave a great effort. We'll see what it looks like on film. Uh, the younger kids, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it looks. About I guess he break his leg, or you know. I need to find out more detail before I do anything. I've not even had a chance to talk to his grandmother or his uncle, the people that raised him. So. Yeah. Kyle, can you talk about how good you felt out there today? Uh, just as far as an offense as a whole, you know, I thought we did we did some good things. Uh, we just gotta clean up some stuff going into you know uh, conference play this week and just get uh, more. Con- to stay at a more consistent basis. So. Did you feel like they actually brought a little more pressure in the second half, or just started seeing the pass rush start to get a little? Oh uh, yeah, they they, uh, they brought some they brought some blitzes and stuff, and you know I thought our offensive line handled it really well. Um, we got some guys banged up up front, but uh, we'll, we'll be all right. Passing game really clicked for you guys a lot of the game. I mean, you know, Seymour's not really known as a big passing team. That'd be nice to see. Yeah. It was a lot of the game plan going into this week. You know, we knew we could throw the ball on them, and you know, we we did some good things. So, How about Coach Stone, I mean, you guys really were productive in the passing game. Kyle kind of gives you a little more chance in that area, don't you think? Oh yeah, there's no question. And 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 uh, we do have a very good receiving core, and uh, being able to throw the ball, we've got a, a nice combination of big receivers like Paul, a couple small quick ones, and. Uh, you know that's that it was there for us, and we'll still take what people give us. Kyle seems to have a good arm to really feel stretch the defense a little more maybe than some other guys you've had. No, Kyle, Kyle's years. got a very good arm. Yeah. There's no question about it. You know, and uh, the rust is almost all gone. <laughs> right on time, right? Right, right yeah. on time. Conference is next week. How about you, Paul? Playing in St. Louis had a big game. Had to be exciting for you, huh? Uh, yeah, it was very exciting. Um, I wasn't too worried about the fans or family because I know I'm going to get the chance to see them. But I was more so worried about my team and what was going through their heads and just how to be that leader that they needed. How about that 75 yard? What happened there? Kind of hit you in stride and you just took off? <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I just feel like it was perfect timing in the moment because I took off not even looking back. And I, something just said, turn your head. And as soon as I turned back, the ball was coming. And the defender got his hand on the ball, but I just pulled it. and. In stride, I was just running, and I saw Spencer Davis to my left coming. So I, I immediately thought somebody was uh, coming after me, but I was clear for uh, the touchdown. So it, was, it felt pretty good. You guys talk about just playing in uh, the stadium and just uh, how uh, kind of different it was. Well, playing in the stadium, for, uh, from my standpoint, is it was very different because we used to turf. Uh, a lot of us used to turf, running on turf. Um, it was a lot of it was a slippery out there, and the dirt uh, was pretty hard. So it was two different things we had to get used to at the same time. And um, I felt that we handled it well, and to be just put on the spot like that. So. How many people do you think you had at the game, like family, friends? Uh, I had a lot. I had middle school, high school, <laughs> family, people that don't even know me came to support me because they just know my name, and I appreciate that <coughs> a lot. It's a lot of love. Yeah, we're, get, we're gaining momentum. We're gaining momentum. Uh, we're going to be heard from. There's no question about it. We're going to go back and start practicing. 
and we're going to put together a good week. We're going to go play in our stadium, see what that's like. And uh, we're expecting a good crowd. And uh, we've got work to do, but we're, we're, we're going to be there. Well, what do you think the key was after you guys tied it up, seem to have a lot of momentum? I feel like a key for us is just keeping everybody's composure and keeping their head up because at times, like you said, when we're tied and people just feel like, okay, we can settle, that everything's okay just because the score is tied and we're not losing. So I feel like um, if, if, a, if a play happens, as the, uh, like Saluki's make a good play and everybody just start getting down on themselves and st stop believing in what they can do and make stuff better, everybody just get down. So I just feel like everybody, if we keep our head up, then We'll be all right. Do you have a pretty good feeling about winning the game once you tied it up? I have a good feeling every game about winning. <laughs> I mean, I'm not cocky or anything. I'm just confident. When I go on the field, I just I, I just block everything out and pretend it's practice and pretend it's back in high school kind of thing and just go out there with confidence and just act like nobody can stop me. So that's, that's my feeling about it. I just look at it in that way. I know it's like you now. They, they recruited you for basketball, didn't they? Yeah, it was great. Both, they was recruiting me for both sports. <laughs> Kind of fun to play against him? Yeah. Coach came up to me before the game and was like, hey, it's nice to see you again. I'm just like, oh, man. I'm like, what's <laughs> up, Coach? And he was like, well, just good luck at the game and I hope you would like it. I was like, I'm going to try my best. <laughs> it was pretty cool, though, see him again. Seems like Paul comes on every game, doesn't he, Coach? Oh, no, he's coming. Yeah. This is a young guy with a bright future, not scared of work, under, is learning the game, and he's a, he's a worker. When you're talented and you're willing to work, good things going to happen. Well, you, you know, they, they tightened up the splits. They were running a little zone. They ran a couple plays, and uh, they were able to create a couple creases to kick out angles, some little things like that. And uh, uh, they just kept pushing, you know, and um, some things just we have to still clean up.